Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to another video guide for Conan Exile. So today in this video, folks, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Mammoth Pet. So if you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on the channel? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video description, as well as in a pinned comment from myself. And if you have just subscribed, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos and content. First off, before I get into the video, just wanted to say that this time around, I'm going to do it a bit different compared to the lion video in which i will of course be testing out the food that it likes to see which one gets you the mammoth as it is a rare chance to get the mammoth however i will only show the first part of the test so that you guys can get the idea and then go to the results this way i can keep the video short and simple if you guys want these sort of videos to be more in detail and in depth like the lion video that i made let me know down below or if you prefer the shorter versions of these videos like this one again let me know down below in a comment and obviously based on what people say that is what i'm going to go with now i normally like to show what i say and sometimes the videos can become a bit lengthy but that's because i like to back up my uh words with the actual footage of the test uh, I don't want people to think that I'm tampering with the evidence or anything, so I do tend to include a lot of footage. So, the way you get a mammoth is by finding a uh, lion baby and then putting it into the taming pen and feeding it, and you have a chance of getting a mammoth. We're going to start with the elephant, which is this one right here. This is how much HP it has. This is the most common one that you will get. Then we have the second variant of the elephant, which is the gray elephant it's larger but has the same hp and finally we have the mammoth with the best hp which is just as rare as the gray elephant now to me that doesn't really make much sense because the gray elephant is rare and so maybe it should have a bit more hp or something special you find the uh elephant where i showed you right there just before i spawned in i spawned in a bit too quick but there is a lake around here. So this is in the savannah. And as you can see to my right at one point, you'll see a little lake right there. Around the lake, you will find baby rhinos. I have covered that in its own separate video, but I just will briefly show you. And somewhere around here, there are two elephants. Now, they look fairly large, but you can walk up to them, pick them up, and you'll have them in your inventory. They do weigh 50 so do bear that in mind they are quite heavy how the heck you fit something so big in your inventory is beyond me but here is my location so this is where the baby elephants spawn they do wander a bit so you might end up having to look for them the rhinos the elephants the tigers that spawn in this location are hostile so it is not necessarily a location that a new player would want to go into it is somewhere around the area of eight uh g ish g something like that g -ish, okay well with that being said and done what i'm going to be doing is i am going to test out the shade spiced bark the vines and the bark uh this time around we're going to start with the bark and i will be doing it on 50 elephants so as you can see these are my 50 elephants i am on the last batch right now I have already done 50 elephants with the bark and I'll show you what I got. I'll also uh, tell you in words. So from the bark so far, I have obtained, as you can see, two mammoths and two gray elephants. The rest of it is just your normal elephant. So it is a very, very rare chance. Bark is fairly easy to get as well. So. You can do it this way, just bear in mind it'll take forever. Bearing in mind that you only find two elephants at a time. So getting a total of 50 elephants to get those two mammoths, well, yeah. So I'm going to place 
the elephants here. I'm going to place whatever I can. I'm going to focus primarily on the mammoths and the gray elephants because they are supposedly rare or rarer. But they're just about as rare as the mammoths from what I can see. So we'll just drop whatever else we can. What we can't fit in here, I will just drop. But I will know that this test over here will have been out of 50 elephant calves. Next up, we're going to be doing the vines and the bark. I'm going to end up doing these off camera. And then I'll start back in and tell you what the results are. If you guys want me to do it differently in other videos, let me know down below. I'm only doing this to keep it short. So, from the vines, I got a total of two mammoths and three elephants. That would be the grey elephants. And from the bark, uh, or sorry, the shade spiced bark I meant, I got a total of six mammoths and seven elephants. So that is all done on a total of 50 elephant calves. So, if I were to break it down into smaller numbers, because let's face it, not everybody's going to be putting 50 elephant calves in their animal pen. I'm going to break it down to a total of 10 elephants or elephant calves. So, it looks like, roughly speaking, you have every chance of getting one mammoth and one grey elephant per each 10 calves with the shade spiced bark that is not bad at all bearing in mind that with any other sort of food it is quite hard to get them the bark is not all that hard to get neither is the uh, flour required for making the shade spiced foods you just have to run the Jabal Sag dungeon which isn't all that difficult to be fairly honest so with that said, I will definitely recommend using the Shade Spice Bark for the best results. Also, for those that haven't watched my previous video with the Lion Cubs and the Lion Pet, you will want to know that they do have a spoil timer. Uh, and if you do not use them or place them down by the end of that spoil timer, they will spoil in your inventory. So that applies both to the ones that you've raised in the taming pen as well as to the babies for any animal it also applies to some thralls however the preservation box does seem to cancel out the spoil timer meaning you can indefinitely keep them there forever and ever until you decide to take it out so that is the best way to keep all of your tames that you don't want to get placed down for this information, I just wanted to thank everyone that suggested it. It does work as it currently stands in the game. Bear in mind, this may change at some point in the future. I don't know if the devs intended it to be this way, but it does work. So my job is to show you what works in the game. With that being said and done, that is it for this video. I did try and keep it short. That does mean I've had to cut out some of the footage. I did test out the items that I mentioned and those were the results that I got. Now, if you guys want more in-depth videos of pets and stuff like this in the future, feel free to let me know down below in a comment. Or if you liked the layout of this video, again, let me know down below. I can't read minds and obviously your opinion on these videos does matter to me and so what i'm trying to do is i am trying through this to find a formula that works both for me as well as for you guys out there that are watching the videos i personally have a tendency and prefer to showcase and be thorough in the video in that i want to show what i say without actually having too many cuts so that people don't think that I've somehow tampered or manipulated the footage. But if you guys want videos that are shorter like this, that means, of course, I will have to be very selective with what footage I put in and it will affect what I show. Now, of course, this isn't just a simple video on how to get the mammoth. I did want to show and test out different foods to show which one is the best to use for the mammoth and so that's kind of why i have a tendency with these sorts of videos to include the entire footage of the tests so that people can see exactly what's going on 
and obviously be convinced by that themselves. That is it for this video, folks. I do hope that you have enjoyed it and found it useful and informative. If you have, please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos here on the channel. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Seftopia Discord. Links to this you can find down below in the video description, as well as in a pinned comment from myself. Until next time, stay safe folks.